Hey guys, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to make a unit tier list for all the units in Fire Emblem Engage. So for this tier list, I'm gonna go pretty fast. And it's this tier list is based off of, I wanna say two completed maddening playthroughs, one that's almost done and the fourth one I'm just starting. So about three going on four maddening playthroughs, I would say. And there are some characters I haven't used yet, believe it or not, even though it's been like, I'm going on the fourth playthrough already. Okay, if I haven't used them, then I'll put them in D tier temporarily. I'm not ranking units based on any LTC criteria. This is just how I would rank the units if I was trying to roll credits on Maddening, right? So, you know, whatever the developers created in the game, you can use at your disposal, like all the mechanics and how they interact with the characters. And I'm just rating the units and how they interact with that gameplay environment in Maddening, right? So, you know, any external rule sets that players like to impose on themselves, I'm not including in this tier list. It's just how I would read the units if you were just trying to roll credits. I think I know what I'm talking about, so let's get started. So first is Alir. Alir, I would put in A. Plan, I would put in, I would put him in, I would put him in B. B is like average tier. Ram, Ram, I would put her in, I would put her in A. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll actually order them after, like at the very end, so stay to the very end. So like if I thought Fram was better than Lear, I would move her to the left side of the tier list. So I'm just going to leave her here for now. And I might do some of that Vander, C, Alfred, B, Boucheron, A, Chloe. Oh, I haven't used Chloe, so. I will leave her in D. Remember, D is like, I, I haven't used them. Celine B, Etier B, Jean A, Louis A, Diamant B, Alchrist A, Amber A, Citrine A, Jade B, Apis B, uh, Saphir, I think is her name. I haven't used her really. Yunaka, I haven't used. Anna B, Gold Mary A, Hortensia B, Ivy B, Getsu A, Linden, haven't really used. Rosado, Low B, Zelkov, um, Zelkov, kind of falls off towards the end of the game if you keep him as a B. I B, Nay, um, haven't used. Ogato, haven't used. Marin, A, somewhere. Andreo, Andreo, A, Annette, A, Sadal, S, Mara, S Mara, Low B. She's on thin ice though. Bale, A, Mav, B. All right, I'm just going to look real quick, see if I would switch anyone around. Kagetsu, I'd move Kagetsu down. Move Boosh up, I'd move Boosh up way higher. I'd move Marin down. I'd move Citrine up, Citrine up, Citrine up. Ram down, Gold Mary up, Dreo up, Annette up, Alchris down, Citrine up, Citrine down a little. I'll move Kagetsu down. Kagetsu down here. I've moved Pendrail above Kagetsu. All right, let's go to B tier. Elka, Hortensia, Ivy. Uh, I moved Ivy up. Mom, you're all right there. I'll move Alfred above Clan. Saline. Saline can go, she can go up. Etia, she can go up. Diamant can go up. Diamant, I think can go here. Actually, Diamond can go here. I can go higher. Uh, actually, he can go higher. Yeah, he, he can go top of B. Jade. Jade can go up. Lapis can go much higher. Lapis can go here. Put Lapis above the, the Illusion sisters because honestly, I'm not... You don't really need Hortensia's skills. You, they're not necessary to roll credits. They help a little and it's you get a nice dopamine hit when World Tree procs, but you don't really need it. And like her two range for her heals is nice for beginners, but you don't really need it, I find. I'm rating Hortensia lower. Lapis, yeah, she's fine there. Anna, 
Rosado, Tamara. Uh, yeah, Tamara's bottom of B. Honestly, she's like right in between B and C. Like if there was a C plus or a B minus, I'd put Tamara here. But I'll keep her at B minus. Anna, I can go up. She's not she's better than Clan. Better than Etia, I think. Better than Jade. Better than Saline? Yeah, I think so. Better than Alfred too. Better than Maul? Yeah, better than Maul. Better than Hortensia, yeah. Better than Ivy, yeah. Lapis. Better than Lapis? Lapis is like a... Lapis is a damn good sword master. Never tried her as hero. I mean, Anna... Nah, she's not better than Lapis. I think Anna... Yeah, Anna's fine here. She's pretty good, but she's not better than Lapis. Mauve is a bit too high still. I think Mauve is kind of between Alfred and Saline. Jade, Etia, Lan, Rosado, Mera, Bander. Just looking at A again. Jean, Louis, Boucheron, Alchrist, Citrine, Alir, Marin, Gold Mary, Amber, Panette, Fogato, I mean not Fogato, Pandreo, Getsu, Ram, hmm, Amvale, Duma, Zelkov, Lapis, Anna, Ivy, Alfred, Mom, Saline, Jade, Etier, Lan, Zato, Tamara, Vander. Hmm, this looks good to me. Yeah, this is where I would rank them. Now you can see, like, most everyone is B. Honestly, there's like equal amounts A and B. The only way I would spread them out more, like move more people into S and move more people into C and even lower is if there was an ultra maddening difficulty. Because honestly, I know it sounds really cocky when I say this, so I'm kind of hesitant to say it, but maddening, I think this is a good tier list for maddening. And if there's an ultra maddening mode or some harder difficulty than maddening, then I would start to move units into different tiers and you would have a much wider variance in the tier list. But I think, you know, everybody is just kind of close to that average area where it's centered at B plus, I would say. And, you know, you have some good units as well in A. I really don't think there are any shitty units that are just really bad. Vander is probably the weakest one from what I've experienced. And the only reason Sadal gets S is just because he's a dancer. That's that's literally the only reason. Anyways, if you're trying to beat Maddening, I feel if you use any of the units in A, B, or S, I think you will beat the game. So again, this tier list is just if you want to roll credits on Maddening. That's literally all I care about. It's, there's no LTC rules, no speed run rules, no all kinds of whatever rules. That this is just to roll credits. So this is I feel like this tier list is good for the the layman, you know, just the average player who's just trying to get into maddening and try to beat maddening. And as you can see, all the units are very good. You know, they're either most of them are B or higher. So you know, even if you use Bander at C. That's literally only one unit out of the four, 12 to 14 that you're choosing to train up. So, you know, even if you used Vander, I think you'll still be all right. And I think you'll still beat the game. Like I said, the only way I would spread the units out more and move them to S and C and D and F tier is if Intelligent Systems releases a ultra maddening mode that's super hard because that would show me, you know, it would, it would allow me to differentiate which units are actually really performing and which units are struggling. Because I believe on an ultra maddening mode, like there will be fail states, right? If I just tried to use some of these A units, or say I tried to use some of these B units, and you know, I was cocky or whatever because I, I thought it was too easy, and on some hypothetical ultra maddening mode, the game would say, no, you would, you, you would fail. You would fail this map or you might soft lock yourself. Then in that case, I would move units down. But as it stands, we're just maddening. I think you these this is a good tier list. Like if you use the B units, you might have a little harder time. But if you use the A units, you can't go wrong with the A units. But B is like, I think B units are still really good. And the fact that you can recruit 12 to 14 units, you can pick and choose here. So any combination here will allow you to clear matter. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will answer as many co comments as I possibly can. So uh, just, just let them go and you feel free to make fun of the list. I don't care. I really don't care. 
So have fun and have at it. And thanks for watching.